welcome back to my channel guys my name is James today is a beautiful day outside but sadly we can't go outside and enjoy it so today I'm gonna show you how to make another recipe I'm gonna show you how to make some butternut squash soup but I'm gonna show you a bit of a different version I'm gonna show you how to make a more of a French version of this soup and I'm also gonna show you how to cut it because I've Trust me, I cut myself a few times trying to clean this thing. So like always, I'm going to leave the recipe for you to see and follow. And if you want to change or modify any of it, you're more than welcome to, as always. Before we get going today, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video down below. And let's get started. So for the ingredients, we're going to be using shallots, butternut squash, a bit of white wine, a sprig of thyme, and again, a bit of chicken stock. We're going to start with the shallots first. You're going to clean them by cutting both ends off and then we're going to cut them julienne. You can cut them in brunoises if you want to practice. It's good practice, but it doesn't matter since we're going to be blending everything in the end. Now for the butternut squash. I'm using a small butternut squash today. I have a couple of them, so I may add a little more, but when you're using and let's pretend that this is a big one for a moment. If you're using a big butternut squash, it's very important that you have to cut it up in portions first, otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to peel it. What I would do first is I'm gonna cut off the top, then I'm going to cut off just a little bit of the bottom. I'm then going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to peel the skin off. I'm gonna use the knife because for me, it's faster and easier. So, first the top, then the bottom, just a little bit, not too much. All right, now, if you can see, I'm gonna cut it in half. All right, now once that's cut in half, you can use a peeler if you want, like I said, but I'm gonna use a knife. I'm gonna take the top with my left hand, I'm gonna take the knife, just the tip, and I'm gonna start going down and turning, taking off the skin, slowly turning it each time. It's best to take your time doing this because I have cut myself, like I said earlier, more than once cleaning butternut squash and it's not a fun thing. Okay, once you have everything cleaned, you can take the top, cut it from the top down. Again, you want to take out any of the, um, any inside if it has any. And if you want, you can save the seeds. You can roast them in the oven and now we're going to cut it down the middle and you want to cut this very thin because the thinner it is the faster it's going to cook so you're just going to make thin slices very thin slices because like I said the thinner it is the faster it's going to cook in the pan once everything is cut and prepped, you're going to get the pan nice and hot like always. You're going to add a little bit of oil and then you're going to add the shallots first. You're going to cook the shallots until they turn clear. Then, I'm using a small pan today to show you a method of cooking this in a small pan because, you know, not everybody has a large pot to cook everything. Like I don't, so I'm going to show you. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to cook the shallots until they're clear. I'm then going to add a portion of the butternut squash. I'm going to only add about a third or maybe a little less. I'm going to slowly cook that. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white wine and let that reduce. And at this point, I'm also going to add a little bit of thyme and a little bit of salt. We're adding little by little because when you add a small portion of food to the pan, it's going to heat a lot faster. It takes less energy to heat that food then you adding, say, a portion that's three or four times the same size. It's going to take a lot longer to cook. So when the wine reduces, be sure to add a little bit of chicken stock. Not too much. I'm going to be adding about a cup. And again, I'm going to be adding little by little of the squash, and I'm going to put a lid on it to let it cook a little faster. Okay, so after about another 15, 20 minutes of cooking, because butternut squash takes a long time. I've been checking it and smashing it just to check on it, but once it gets to about this consistency, and once you cannot have, once you don't have any more resistance, 
with the squash it should be done you can also tell that the color is a little darker and it has more flavor because the chicken stock and the sauce or any of the juices have reduced so you have more flavor for it now we're going to blend okay now we're going to add the mixture you want to make sure that the butternut squash is hot because otherwise it's going to be lumpy when you blend it and we're adding butter to it because the fat will make it will emulsify it so it'll help make it more creamy instead of making it again a lumpy soup so be sure to add everything to the mixture if you have a little too much juice you can separate it but as you can see I've reduced it I'm gonna throw the knob of butter in and now we blend so after you blend it for a minute or two now you have it into more of a puree type consistency then you can use this again if you want for garnish the puree and now we're going to add a little more chicken stock and a little bit of heavy cream to make it into a soup and that's the end of making the butternut squash soup it's super easy it may take a little bit of time because like i said earlier butternut squash takes a bit of time to cook but if you have any questions, be sure to write me in the comments below and let me know how it turns out for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and like the video. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.